Good afternoon. So in our lesson today, we learn about how Paul and Silas were on another missionary trip. Now, as you remember, Paul was didn't used to be a follower of Jesus. His name was Saul, and he used to hurt the people who believed in Jesus. But Jesus had blinded him for three days in Damascus, and he then through that, he learned to follow Jesus, and he told many, many people of God's love, and he wrote many books in the Bible, and he was a big, big missionary. Well, one day they were coming into a city, and there was a woman there who whose mind didn't work very well, and she would say things that she didn't really mean, and but she just didn't have any control over it, and so she was saying mean things to Paul and Silas, and the people kind of laughed at her, and it was very hard for her, and Paul and Silas said, in the name of Jesus, we want you to be healed, and so at that moment then, the woman was healed, and she was so thankful, and she thanked the men. Well, this didn't make the people very happy that 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 Paul and Silas could cure her, and they said, "Well, who who do they think they are that they can that they can heal people?" And we'll learn a little bit more. Well, the woman from that city, the people, they didn't love Jesus a whole lot. And they decided they wanted to hurt Paul and Silas. And they put them in prison. And Paul and Silas did absolutely nothing. But they went to the deepest, darkest dungeon of that prison. And the soldiers had to watch them. And they did nothing wrong. All they talked about was the love of God. And so it, during the night, they sang songs and they sang praises to God. And there was an earthquake. And the ground shook and the window shook and the door shook. And the chains fell off of, Peter, of Paul and Silas. And then later on, the soldiers were so worried because they he realized they came in the door and they realized that maybe something might have happened, that the prisoners might have escaped. And Paul and Silas said to the soldiers, they said, don't worry, we're all here, we haven't gone away. And, they, and the soldiers said to them, they said, see, we are here. And the soldiers said, why? And he said, well, this is what we need to do. And he realized then, he they taught him of Jesus' love. And that soldier took Paul and Silas out of the prison then and took them to his house and took care of them and got them cleaned up and fed them food so that they could go back on their missionary journey and tell others. And those soldiers also believed in Jesus and asked to be baptized. So one by one, they were telling people of all God's love, and they spread that news. And it went on and on and on until everybody could hear of God's love. And that's what we get to do. We get to share God's love with everybody that we know. Let's fold our hands and let us pray. Ready? We thank you, Jesus, for all the good blessings you give to us each day. And we ask that you please be with us now, and especially through the summer that we can just enjoy our lives in you and tell others about your love. And we thank you for our families. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you.